Dean, I love you, I love your show, but I'm not past my prime. I am old enough to be your father if I had you when I was 18. But if a 27-year-old man can't beat a 44-year-old guy, you're hurting. But let's do it and let's have a great time. Absolutely. I got a lot to lose and how much to gain. I don't know. <laughs> Me too. Next up, Dean Kane against Hawk. I still don't know how I got that Superman job. I'm taller, I'm better looking, I have a higher TVQ, but here we go anyways. He seems to be the crowd favorite, Lisa. Ready, ready. And Superman is off to the first station. Nico, this is our Princeton Cornell matchup. Dean Kane played football at Princeton, Hawk at Cornell. Ooh. Oh, he shot at him. I tell you, the football is gone right now. Right now, it's celebrity against Gladiator, and that's what they're working at. That's right. Very intense. Very intense. I think Dean's got to realize this isn't real. This isn't Superman. One of those balls is going to hit him, and it's going to hurt. <laughs> and you know, Superman isn't used to oh, shooting baby. guns. <laughs> Very close. Two down, two points. Moving uh -huh. on to the third. Hawk is doing a good job. I think I could have done better. <laughs> well, Nitro, you always think you can do better. Isn't that the case? At station number three. Whoa. I think, hey, that football rivalry might be there. That's right. He's going for Hawk, not the target. Now, Hawk's really got to be careful there because he only has four, three balls left, Lisa. If he runs out of balls, it's over, and Dean's got an oh, easy way. Very close. Just missed that time. Shin. See how good his arm, oh. Oh, the time went out again. Time again, and he hit the target, but it was too late. He took a cheap shot. Superman Four Lion. points for Dean King. Great job, brother. Good work. So Hawk prevails, but barely Dean Kane dodging those bullets. Okay, guys. Now, if you used to go to Princeton, you used to go to Cornell, okay. had a little football experience against each, other, against each other. Did any of that come back? Absolutely. I wanted to beat him really badly. What happened? I lost. <laughs> Hawk, I, I tell you what, Nitro, my Cornell team made this guy the most, the leading receiver in Cornell history, and he played for the other team. We kept throwing a ball to him, so I wanted him bad. He intercepted one of my tennis balls. Good job, Barry. But there was one thing, Hawk. You up there, in the, up there, you told me earlier, you're hitting Dean Kane in the S. You were yeah. off target. What happened? Uh, they ain't over yet. <laughs> they ain't over yet, baby. <laughs> they ain't over. So wait, does that... Well, further competition coming up from these two. And in lane one, it's Superman. Dean Kane ready to fly. Okay, you want to get a quick start off here, get a quick burst down the straight but not too fast where you spin out there like Dean Kane did. Now, who's got the lead here, Lisa? It's really close. Dean Kane's right in the lead there, and he's got pretty good form. Okay, we're coming up to the turnaround point, and this is the point where I call a turnaround. The first time I did this, it's sick. <laughs> not fun. Dean Kane once again led at the midway. John making the nice turn early, but he's got the outside lane. Here comes Dean. Mike and John battling for second. Dean Kane wins it. Ten points for Dean. Ooh, close call for second. Who cares about second? Lisa, Dean Kane blew them so far away. It's not even important. The real excitement is winning. Here's another look at that finish for second place. They called it a dead heat. That's the reason why. I guess it's because of your football background, being an all-American safety from Princeton. Are you ready to go? You're in the lead right now. Yeah, I, I hope I'm ready to go. I feel good. Uh, I'd like to, I'd like to push through this thing pretty quickly and and uh, move on to the later rounds. But yeah, I did want this. I played against uh, Hawk in college and playing against him now. Feels good. So are you a little nervous by the gladiators staring you in the face? Not nervous, just excited. All right, let's go. Thank you. Here we go. And there's the gauntlet. In the lead, it's Sabre. Then my partner, Nitro. Turbo, the Hawkster. And Laser at the finish. The big contest, we're ready. Dean Kane set to go, ready to face our five gladiators. Saber at the head of the line. Here they go. Dean, as we mentioned, former All-American from Princeton gets through the first and gets by Nitro. He's getting stopped up by Turbo, but he gets through. Hawk, former competitor from Cornell, giving him a battle. Dean may not get past the Hawkster. He's giving it his best. There he goes. And it's laser. Oh, the dive! I don't think he made it. Nice effort. Hey, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Fantastic effort by Hawk here. One more look at it. 
Dean really took a beating. Dean, I know you're a little agitated, and as well you should be. Hawk stopped you up pretty good in there. He did a great job, you know. He's an offensive tackle from college. He was doing pass protection, he just destroyed me. I need a little more room to work with. He did a great job. You got it done, Hawk? Huh? Well, I'll tell you what, Lisa. He makes more money than, money than I do as Superman. So when I was hitting him, I was saying, give me some cash, give me some cash, give me some cash. He was talking I to distracted him. He him. But there we go. Did it pay off? It Not paid yet. off. Yeah. Well, yeah, he owes me money, and I beat his <laughs> rear end. Well, now, Dean, we're going to take a look at the dive you made at the end. It was absolutely remarkable. Tell me what you were thinking. I knew I was really late, and I had to get over <laughs> and get across the line. I didn't make it though. It's it was bad. it was just a little too late. But you're still too in the lead. Too late. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll find out. If these guys fly through, I'm in big trouble. Okay, let's go. Let's see. All right, thanks, Steve. Everybody's letting themselves in trouble, and, and and mine, for the most part, doesn't. I mean, I'm pretty. I don't do drugs. I don't run. Around, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much of a homebody, and I work hard. And as an athlete, you can, you really can't. I don't think in function. I don't know how. You know, I guess people have in the past, but I can't. Um, for me, it's, I'm a lot cleaner. So I, in that sense, I don't have to adjust my lifestyle much, much, yeah. to be super bad. <laughs> and a look at Dean Kane, who leads John McGinley 14-9 going into this event. If there's ever a good time to fly, now would be it. It's going down. This ain't no TV show, this is real. Well, I guess this is a TV show, but he's still coming down. For this celebrity challenge, however, the man who makes it higher up the wall, if they're both pulled off, will earn five points. And no head start either. All four men will start simultaneously. Nitro now working to cross over and trying to catch Dean. Turbo has actually beaten John McGinley to the spot. He'll probably be waiting on the wall when John gets there. Now John loses his grip momentarily as he's got it back. Dean driving hard up that inside edge. I saw him in practice yesterday. We were both practicing. And he made it up on the second try. McGinley's got trouble because Turbo just pulled him off. Nitro fell off the wall. Dean now looks like he's gonna get the 10 if he can hang on. He's got no worse than five. And he did it. Hey, yeah. hey, Superman did it. Yes. Dave, ready? Dean, like football, this event involves a lot of perseverance. We practiced this yesterday, and we had our problems, and today a whole different story. You make it up in 50 seconds, which is better than a lot of our contenders do. Congratulations. Your thoughts up there? Well, I'm just happy to get to the top. I'm about as surprised as anybody. If there was ever a time to fly, that would have been it, boy. I tell you, I got that was. I felt him grab my ankle, and once he let go, I got a lot of burst, you know, a burst of a lot of adrenaline, and I'm just happy to be sitting up top now. I guess I got to... Fly down, huh? Hey, absolutely. You, this is your chance to give all of our uh, fans here in Gladiator Arena a big thrill. This is your moment, Superman. Come on down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring him down, go. everybody. He's ready for perhaps his most demanding role in the Eliminator. He's with Lisa. John, you have gone against Steven Seagal, Dolph Lundgren, Ice-T, and now it's Superman. What is your strategy? Well, I lost to those guys. I'm going to try to beat Superman. OK, here we go. <laughs> A determined Irish John McGinley. What he needs to do is make up a seven and a half second head start. On course, our penalty enforcers, Hawk and Nitro, I want to thank you for sitting in for me. Did a lot better behind the microphone than I did at some of these events. One of the reasons Dean came on this show, he wanted to prove to people that he was still quite a good athlete. People forget that he was a great football player while at Princeton University and all Ivy League defensive back spent some time with the Buffalo Bills and working hard on the Versa climber. Looking strong here. Working the hand bike pretty good. He needs to make a mistake for McGinley to have a chance. He's reached the cargo net, Dean has. John fighting hard to catch up. Across the cylinder he goes. Now he's on the cargo net. But Dean's seven and a half second head start still intact. Down the zip line he comes. He sets his victory. He's on a natural high here. Over the wall. Now he's got it. 
The treadmill crawling his way up to the top. And he has done it. Dean Kane, our Celebrity Challenge winner. He is $10,000 richer. John McGinley continues to fight hard. Great day for both guys. The same kind of discipline and determination it takes to be a good actor paid off for both Dean and John here today. What a day we had today, huh? Do it again tomorrow. Thanks, man. <laughs> tomorrow. Hey, John. It's another day at the office. Woo. That's right. Nice oh, yeah. Good, man. I tell you what, you guys did very respectful times in the eliminator. These guys for all year. They did great. They did fantastic. <laughs> Superman, you didn't need your cape today. <laughs> the seven and a half second lead sure helped, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Whew. That's a tough one. Yeah, I'm a little winded. Well, you've done a lot of athletic things in your life. How does this compare? This is right up there, believe me you. This, this is right up there. This is a lot of fun. Well, it's not as easy as it looks, remember that. No kidding. John, he had that lead. But you were right in. Thanks, thanks. Good job. <laughs> 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 a little tired. Dean Kane and John McGinley doing themselves proud. Whoa. Dean, the winner of our celebrity challenge. Hey, and we'd like to thank.